Arthur Miller also wrote um, The Crucible, which is about kind of a psycho girl named um, <laughs> Abigail. And he also wrote Death of a Salesman, I believe. And so if you know that, it's probably a good context for this. Uh, I'm going to read you the very end of it. And so it's not much, but it's probably a third of the essay in total. Okay. There is a misconception of tragedy with which I have been struck in review after review and in many conversations with writers and readers alike. It is the idea that tragedy is of necessity allied to pessimism. Even the dictionary says nothing more about the word than that it means a story with a sad or unhappy ending. This impression is so firmly fixed that I almost hesitate to claim that in truth, tragedy implies more optimism in its author than does comedy, and that its final result ought to be the reinforcement of the onlooker's brightest opinion of the human animal. For if it is true to say that in essence, the tragic hero is intent upon claiming his whole due as a personality, and if the struggle must be total and without reservation, then it automatically demonstrates the indestructible will of man to achieve his humanity. The possibility of victory must be there in tragedy. Where pathos rules, where pathos is finally derived, a character has fought a battle he could not possibly have won. The pathetic is achieved when the protagonist is, by virtue of his witlessness, his insensitivity, or the very air he gives off, incapable of grappling with a much superior force. Pathos truly is the mode for a pessimist, but tragedy requires a nicer balance between what is possible and what is impossible. And it is curious, although edifying, that the plays we revere, century after century, are the tragedies. In them, and in them alone, lies the belief, optimistic, if you will, in the perfectibility of man. It is, it is time, I think, that we who are without kings took up this bright thread of our history and followed it to the only place it can possibly lead in our time, the heart and spirit of the average man.